This MPA that we have here is called Pyramid Point, or in Talawa Daini, it's Trulukwet, which means one line fishes a pond there. The Talawa Daini Nation is a coastal tribe. All of their subsistence will primarily come from the ocean. They have been stewards of the, the sea and the ocean and everything in it since time immemorial, and they have an inherent right to protect what's there, and they have since the beginning of time. You know, I'd like to see my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren still be able to come to the same beach that I came down here as a young child. I've been coming down here for 37 years. It's important because it makes us who we are. Um, it's handed down from generation to generation. But it's important because that's who we are. And, and being an oral tradition, based people, that's how you pass it down. When my grandmother was here, she would tell stories that when she was young, you could look down this beach in the summer and see nothing but campfires because every family was down here doing the same thing. With the fish camps, you know, we would traditionally dry them on uh, beds of sand, and that would be our winter food storage. And it was a key component, I believe, for our people because it was um, a major food source and then it was also a trading commodity. The traditional way is an A-frame net, um, which is made out of uh, two poles with a handle in the middle and it looks like an A when it's kind of upright, so how it got its name. And then there's small mesh tied onto the poles and then you dip it out. So it's an A-frame dip net and you wait her in the waves, and um, when the fish are running, you can see them in the water, and you just dip, and then when your net's full, you pick them up. So within Talawa culture, uh, the surf smelt, or shlamsh, as it is called in Talawa Dini, is very important to the people. And in recent years, about 10 or 12 years, the surf smelt has been on the decline population-wise, the families that camp down here have noticed there's not a return to this beach that there has been previously. Even in my short lifetime, I've seen the numbers decline tremendously, and really more so in the last 12 years, where you're not even catching enough to uh, feed a small family at dinner. An MPA or a marine protected area is an area designated by the state that has certain restrictions that will protect different marine animals within it. MPAs are important for the preservation of species within the ocean and the habitats surrounding them. MPAs put in certain protections so that certain species can flourish and have greater influence outside the MPA and go greater distances. Traditional knowledge is passed down from generation to generation, um, not only within your family, but within the tribal family. Um, there was knowledge that was passed down so that you knew how to show respect for the resources and the environment and to ensure that um, that species will return. Oh, 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 oh,